What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into DDG caught in Paris with another woman, Runic and Jessica. Let's get it. So DDG is out in Paris for Fashion Week right now. Now I'm assuming Hallie didn't go because she's filming for a movie. So now Tasha K posted a response from your faves before IG when someone asking, is DDG and Hallie still even in a relationship? Now they responded with, they put on for the media and blogs, but he really with Lala in Paris with her now. So now this is Lala and yes, she she is in Paris and of course a lot of other people are out there too because it's fashion week. Now okay. if you guys don't know who Lala is, she is actually an ex-friend of Ruby Rose. Now her and Ruby got into it in 2020 after Lala started dating her ex Lil TJ. So now when Lala tweeted well, out Paris, someone <laughs> comes back in response to her with this B wanna be Ruby so bad. How you go from little TJ to DDG? Just ready to F after your friend and DDG, you even worse. How you effing around with a fan of Hallie? Downgrading. Damn. It's a girl that all of a sudden is an angel and uses. Y'all just say anything, bro. Mermaid emojis. <laughs> so now these are some clips before your faves before IG. Now, as you can see, it appears that DDG and Lala are on the same plane. And they have them at the same fashion show as well, as you can see by the floor that DDG posted and what Lala posted. But again, this is fashion week, so there's gonna be a lot of people at the same place, but people are stating that DDG has been messing around with Lala for a long time. Now, all of this is alleged, but you guys let me know your opinions on it down in the comment section below. Are you believing leaving this or you think it's cap but let's move cap. on to this next topic with runic sierra and why would he do that jessica now if you guys remember about a month ago sierra was going off on runic and jessica because she claimed that they were sleeping together now runic and jessica both denied it but now something just dropped that had people thinking maybe sierra wasn't lying hey, so look. Ew, yeah. give me a hug that that kiss right there did not look forced at all it looked like she definitely wanted it hey, so look. Ew, look. give me a hug so now in that viral clip you can see runic giving jessica a louis vuitton bag and then jessica responding back to him with a thank you and a kiss now i'm not sure if you gift a friend those type of gifts and if you do do they kiss you back in return? Well, Sierra is having a ball with this because she's stating no one believed her. Now everyone is trying to hop back on her side because they see that she was telling the truth. She posts on Instagram, you will never be this young again in your life. Go have fun. And then she states and go F for a designer bag. So now Je oh, damn. Jessica did have a response to all of this after she realized that that clip was going viral. Here's what she had to say on TikTok Live. Remember, because I, I I remember pieces where I was just so like I was blacked out. So he we got in the car and he drove to the hotel, but he was like you know he was lit, you could tell. But he drove himself back to the hotel. We got to the hotel and I was gonna get out and get in the back in, on the driver's side because it was my car that he was driving, but I knew that I couldn't drive. But I sobered up just a little bit like what do you mean you have to like what i i didn't know you, you had something for me so um he went up and i was just talking to my friend I'm like what do y'all what, what think he have what do y'all think he have and i was like i don't know i don't even want to watch this over again y'all because we already seen this on voice channel but like sis is faking <laughs> first of all not that she knew um he would be coming with that like Louis Vuitton is bag, but that kiss. She so knew he was gonna kiss her. We I spoke on this because she kissed him back happily. Situation with this video going around of Runic and Jessica kissing. Now Jessica did come out and give her side of the story. Now Runic is giving his side of the story as well because people are even wanting to know how did that video even get released? What it is? Apparently, there's a clip floating around 
that me and Jessica kissed, you know, yada, yada, yada. How the video got out, really, like, a few days ago, it was already some mess in my house, you know what I'm saying, with Rue Crew, which I'm not gonna go into details about because it was personal things that was going on. Obviously, people was fighting, and, you know, it was a bunch of other stuff going on on the side of that. Screenshot and messages off the group chat that I had with Rue Crew. Somebody in the circle was, like, basically trying to expose me, but ain't really have nothing on me, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that they was able to get was the video off the computer, because, obviously, I let people edit off my computers. I got a computer over there, computer right here. I got computers. Just know the person that I feel I did it everywhere. is no longer a part of Rule Crew. And you know, y'all no longer will see this person. I feel like after everything that's already happened, you know, it's just a slap to my face because all I do is help people, you know what I'm saying? It's a crab in the barrel mentality where people see you going up and they just want to bring you down with them because you ain't going up with them at the same pace, but everybody got their time to shine, you know what I'm saying? I waited for my moment, and now that my moment's going up, people see what's going on. That's a fact, and I wait for mine, so you ain't did this, you ain't did that. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. <laughs> up? I'm gonna just keep it 1,000, bro. I'm people just quitter. hating, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? If anything, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It happened how it happened. I mean, what can I explain besides just admitting to what happened? You heard me? Okay, what? Y'all caught us, you know, kissing. You heard me? It is what it is. At the end of the day, the video should have never came out. And I feel like, you know, it is what it is. If Now that it's out, you know, I, I see Jessica talking about how, you know what I'm saying? She barely can explain the stuff. So it's just like, it's really like we running circles around something that's simple. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all caught us kissing, yada, yada, yada. Sierra get the exposing stuff. She don't even know what she talking about, bro. She really just adding extra <laughs> stuff on top of stuff we already got. So Runic stated someone in Ruku actually leaked that footage. Ruku. Now, he also spoke on when he bought the purse, how it was on Jay's channel, and Funny Mike pretty much talked him into buying that purse for Jessica. Hey, oh, Funny Mike got him in trouble again. How, you know, brought a mistress. So hey, look, hey, Louis man. Uh, Louis Bang? Down, watch this. Dude, swear to God. It's the, the new seasonal. Oh. He flashed. There you go. Oh, look, look, look. Let me see, let me see. Oh, for the love of Ruth. Guess how much for the $3,000 something. Oh, th huh? 3000 Yes. Oh, he loved it. Guess who boosts his head up, you need? I know. <laughs> you got you gotta spend that money for that love. Right, the crazy thing is you gotta spend that money for that love. This is another video <laughs> was posted on Funny Mike ENT's page of Runic kissing Jessica again. Now this video was posted, then quickly deleted, but not gonna lie, in this video it appears that Runic just snuck in a kiss on Jessica and Jessica looked very uncomfortable. It appears that Runic Yeah, it was real like and you know, when a nigga got you in a headlock, I mean, Jesus. Cast a big crush on Jessica, but I don't know if Jessica is feeling him that way. But you guys leave your opinions down below. But let's move on to this next topic with Flo and Karina. Now, you guys already know they are expecting a baby. Well, Karina's mom it. made a post on Instagram, then quickly deleted it. And people felt like it may be for Flo. It states, one thing that I abhor is when an evil, miserable, envious, conniving, controlling, manipulative, lion, rat, and snake keeps messing with someone that has done no harm. If she doesn't want you, she doesn't want you. You fumbled my N-word. Stop, repent, or else this will not end well for you. Now, this could be towards anyone, but people are thinking that it's for Flo. Karina has also been on Twitter stating things like, had some people F me over, so I keep my guard up, and whole world fake as hell. I don't like nobody. And They put them tweets up all day long. That did not mean they talking specifically about or she talking, well, they, about him. I don't miss, <laughs> I keep trying to tell y'all. And I think that last tweet had something to do with that whole Fulio situation, but I'm not sure. But anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with the former Baby Mama crew, which included Ari, Neek, and Carmen. Ari is doing a podcast where she's been speaking on a lot with Neek, 
Carmen, even her mom and the relationship and speaking on her mom, allegedly scamming, even stating that Trey did cheat on her. And that was the reason behind the breakup. So here's Aerie's explanation. Aerie, what are we doing? To the whole demise of the JQCG. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. But people weren't there in that house with me with the looks and the conversations and the meetings. There were conversations about how she get this deal and I didn't. If I keep going up, now this word is being thrown about me. Oh, she's selfish. Oh, she acting funny. Oh, she this. Oh, she that. And it's just like, huh? I'm on tour and my partner's talking about, I'm going to jump off this off this boat. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I'm, lit I'm literally on the phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, just give me a second. Give me one second. Aerie, they want you to do the song again, but Rich is going to do the part with you. I'm like, hold on real quick. Still on the phone. Put the phone down. Go sing. Hallelujah. Perform. Entertain. No, no, no. Then you get off and like, hello? And it's just like, it was so much that was going on that huh? I got to a place where I was like, I'm willing to put it all up just to have some peace because it wasn't worth it. it. My friends are now beefing. And when everybody was to pinpoint why we were all getting into it, it all came down to do with jealousy because it should have been me. It should have been this. It should have been that. How she get a fashion over deal? Oh, you know, Janae, you must have got that for her. And it's like, no, my label did because I'm signed because I'm actually good at what I do. Like I got favor over my life. They had nothing to do with her. You know what I'm saying? They had to pick somebody to blame for. Still on this tour and doing these amazing things. And there's 13 million people talking about my mama at this time. And then you sitting there like, wait, these people all got my number. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, what do I use this time for to promote this song <laughs> or address this beef? And then I don't address the beef and I'm coming home and I'm seeing her cry and I'm like, dang, because I'm like, I told you so I messed with these folks because I could have seen it from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? Just for everybody years later to say, yeah, we saw it. We were just going through a lot. We were scared that you, you were, help us. You know what I'm saying? We were just scared that you were going to do this. And you're like, I'm sorry, what? And the whole world believed it because of the influence. And I use this platform and this traction to give y'all more traction because we know drama sells. It would have been 18 bajillion videos about me. But it's just like it just kept going and going that the weight and the pressure of influencing made me just I, I was so over. I didn't want to. It took away from the people who loved me, like the my supporters who's like, I love you so much, Eric. When are you coming back? What are you this? And I'm like, Y'all, me and she know me. And y'all love us together. <laughs> like, I don't know what she oh my god don't want me to do and i refuse to be one of them couples that just stick it through for a change <laughs> i'm like you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying i i, I can't keep my manager because y'all all think that she is scammer but actually she does a good job she just acts like a mom. they killed me just cutting these videos off <laughs> her hand was well the hand so real teeth would just you be, that's all you gonna leave me with um let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below I, it ain't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm like, Ari, what? Why? 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 Um, but, you know, that's her story to tell. And if she wants to tell her story, she can. So um, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.